Hey everybody, it's your girl KT and I'm back with another video. So if you're new around here, hi, my name is KT and I'm your favorite publicist that talk about business, career, and a sprinkle of lifestyle from here to there. So today's video is going to actually be a reset routine to talk about all about April. Um, how am I doing for my quarterly goals? If you guys haven't checked out my latest video, which is how I'm going to start planning my goals for here on out until I figure out this doesn't work. Uh, I'll link it up in the cards above because now I am planning quarterly for my goals. So instead of monthly, monthly goals, we're going to do quarter goals and see how far we can get with that. So so far so good we'll talk about it more in the video <clears throat> and then also talk about what went on in april all that kind of stuff and the hopes for may going into the second month for quarter two so that's a long spiel but without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get straight on into the video all right y'all so i have my lovely ipad here that has all my notes about what happened in april so <laughs> we'll get into what highs of april i consider to be my highs so the very first one is i took a break and i know you like didn't you just say quarter two was i know but i took a break in april because april was very much a burnout month because i was running 90 next to nothing january february and march trying to get all these goals together all the things that i want to do all the things i want to accomplish and <clears throat> that's when i found out month the month goals wasn't really working for you girl because i felt like everything should have got accomplished in that month and the way my life set up it's that's not how my life really works so <clears throat> i decided to take a break so april i kind of just stood by you know i had goals i had things that i needed to accomplish but i didn't take myself too seriously and that's another part of april i am much of an overthinker so i'm always going to overthink and overdo because that's just me and nature this isn't just you know this stems from myself this isn't any kind of childhood trauma that was caused this is just me being me and you know wanting more for my life wanting more for my family all that kind of stuff so i typically move like that and i'm very much an overachiever um i talked about this in so many videos if you guys want me to talk about it more i will love to talk about why i think this way but i really just stopped taking myself too seriously and tried to focus on things i really enjoy and that kind of unlocked a lot of things that i typically was doing just because um i felt like i should have been doing it and not really taking the time out to realize if this is something I really want to do or is this just something that I feel like is supposed to align with my life. So <clears throat> that's another thing. And like I said, I took a break. I relaxed. It took some time away. If you guys noticed on my business channel, I wasn't posting as much um, on my business social media. I kind of ramped up on my personal just this because I kind of enjoy doing it so that's probably the only reason why um, YouTube videos kind of slowed down but don't worry they're back um, and we're gonna do a life update type of video in the few so we'll talk about what's going on with that and all that kind of stuff so really just took time to figure out what I wanted um, and try to figure out what really are my goals for this year and how I can achieve them for the remaining of the year um brought in some more positivity about work and overall goals um i really came into this year 
kind of defeated because of things that happened last year but really didn't take the time to really think positively even though that's normally me nine times out of ten but <clears throat> the start of the year i'm just like mm, this ain't it <laughs> i said this was my year this ain't gonna be my year and i really found out how damaging that was to me and um if you guys know powers in the tongue we talk about affirmations all that kind of stuff and i don't know why i didn't connect that together to figure out that probably was causing a lot of my heartache and um, negativity in my life because I wasn't thinking with a positive mindset. So definitely changed my mindset around that and started speaking more positively about what I wanted to do and all that kind of stuff. So we can kind of get into the lows because those are all the highs that I had. Um, so april like i said was much of a burnout month i was burnt out from like i said running 90 next to nothing from january february march trying to get you know more exposure on this channel trying to get my business together trying to do this work all this other stuff and it just really wasn't working all together because i didn't plan as much as i do plan some of this stuff really wasn't planned out and I really took the time to figure out where the burnout was coming just took a break from stuff and you know set up myself for a better year and a better mindset and all that so April was really um, finding myself and then also I feel like it's kind of a low but it's not a low but it's something to think about because as you guys know um, well if you don't know this year I turned 30 yes the the dreaded 30s um literally turned 30 in june so a lot of my things were i need to accomplish this by 30 and i need to do this because i've been doing this for so long or i need to do this because i'm about to turn 30 and i need to get to these other goals that i want to do and i can't live like that i have to take time and stop trying to run a rat race against the age of 30 like that's when life is over literally that's pretty much when life begins at this point because i figured it out i figured out this is where life begins so it's time to just you know relax still have your goals still you know plan for what you want but also still live in the moment and i think that's what i really learned in april so that was my big life lesson of april um you know stop and smell the roses instead of always trying to plan out what next roses need to go when those die out and really just appreciate what's going on in life and that's not saying i know i'm not going to stop applying for stuff i'm not going to stop global planning i'm not still going to have aspirations but i am definitely i realize in april i'm definitely the type that when i set a goal come hell or high water i'm i'm breaking my neck trying to get to and if you guys seen my goal list you like key how you gonna do all that but i had good intentions good intentions but really learning that life is short as well because you guys know um, what i do in my full-time job and seeing a lot of stuff happen on the outside to you know young kids and all that kind of stuff so that kind of really put me in perspective of we don't know when our last day might be or all that so as much as i want to plan i still want to enjoy life and enjoy the <clears throat> amount of people amount of things i'm doing and be able to really hone in on that and understand that if i don't accomplish anything else that i'm satisfied and okay with what's going on in my life right now so that's my life lesson for april um <clears throat> so also low i promise y'all this um on my social media channels if you don't follow me you can follow me at kt the publicist on instagram and on tiktok that's where you get uh the the updates as quickly as possible other than you know the youtube channel and so let's talk about mimosa festival <clears throat> so april my city birmingham had a mimosa festival and you know i was all excited um I'll say this I like going places but if it's like this whole you know I know everybody's gonna be there 
Nine out of times out of ten, I really don't want to go because it's like I'm already finna run into a lot of people I don't feel like being bothered with. And some of these events, not gonna lie, you know, it's a showboat event. People who want to be seen, people who feel like they want to know people, all that kind of stuff typically goes out to these events. Well, in certain circles I know of that does this, but nevertheless, I was like, oh, I'm a Mosa Festival, you know, you pay your money. You go drink mimosas, have a good time. So I was like, I needed, that was part of my break because normally y'all know I'm working literally 24 seven sometimes. So I really took the day off and was like, okay, I'm gonna go here and we're gonna have fun. I had fun all of an hour, all of an hour. So, you know, it was already packed. I think I got there, started at one, we got there around 130, 145-ish. And like the lines were already long for mimosas, but typically, like I said, that comes with big events. So I'm not thinking nothing of it. Um, so, you know, we get in line, get the mimosas. Really, to be honest, by the time you get one mimosa, you might as well drink that in line because if you want another one, you still gonna have to wait. And, you know, they have food, all that kind of stuff. But the problem didn't happen until by the time we got our second mimosa. So, in line, got on mimosas. So, I would say the bar area was right here. We were standing on this side, literally. So, it was not too close to the bar, but I'm not going to say we was up under the bar, but we was, you know, a ways away from the bar. One of the bartenders decided oh i'm gonna shake up some champagne and i'm just not gonna tell nobody i'm about to pop the cork y'all know cooks cooks is some cheap champagne so do with that information what you will but what had happened was when he shoots it he didn't shoot it up he shoot it out like this and didn't tell nobody and I was drenched in champagne at the Mimosa Festival and was livid because who wants to walk around with smelling like cheap champagne? Not I. So by this point, I really don't feel like he was sorry that he did it because the words of, oh, you know, I'm the manager around here sprung up at his mouth so quickly. So I'm just like, so you meant to do this? Because why would that be the first thing out your mouth? Like, I would think, this is me being in a customer service role for most of my life, PR, marketing, all that kind of stuff. You would think if he shot, if he's getting ready to shoot the champagne and you think that it might even touch us, you could say, hey y'all, you know, I'm, I'm getting ready to open the court. You might want to step back some more because we don't know how far it's going to shoot out. Simple, right? No. And then the fact that you said, oh, I'm a manager afterwards. Like, sir, my whole outfit has now been ruined and you think this is a joke? And it's not even an outfit. It's just I paid my money to experience a great experience. And at that experience, I'm now drenched in champagne. And you sit there and laugh and just say, I'm the manager. So, really was pissed at this point. It was like, okay, it's time to go. And like, you know, when I was telling some of the other people, oh, it couldn't have been a manager. And I'm describing, oh, yeah, that's him. Oh, that's him. Oh, yeah, that's him. It's time to go. But, um, so, nevertheless, I did not have a good time. Will I go back? No, I will not. Um... I paid a lot of money for me and my sister's tickets and for me to only get two mimosas and get wet with cheap champagne. Not the highlight of my day. Not the highlight of my day. So that is how April went. And let's talk about more about the recap of my goals for quarter two, how May is going to shape up to help out with quarter two goals and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to get right on into that. All right, so if y'all know my quarter two goals, um, matter of fact, you can, I'll have them up on the screen somewhere, here, here, somewhere. 
but I really broke it down into two categories business career all that kind of stuff and then personal goals so business goals um I'll be happy to report that by the time you watch this video, I have signed a new client for KGT Communications. So we are now on the road to having two clients, um, one social media and one um, strictly public relations. So clap it up for your girl. It was looking a little slim, a little, little, little slim, but so excited to bring on this client. Um, to the family i will um if you guys follow me on instagram at kgt communications i'll have all the information i also go to www.kgtcommunications and you can see who we work with all this kind of stuff so i am grateful to be able to sign a new client and hopefully it's shaping up that I might be able to take on two more clients for the rest of the year because you guys know I work full time, I have a life, YouTube, all that kind of stuff and I don't want to overload myself with clients so hopefully I can get one to two more so I can do an end of four and be okay for the rest of the year and you know figure it out from there but also nurture um some things and release some things that probably would help out with alleviating the client work and i'm gonna get into that as well but nevertheless happy that i actually signed a new client um i have not officially released and launched the photography side of the business and it's funny because I've been being booked for photography gigs. Um, by the time this video has come out, I have done three photography events and two on the way. So I'm getting booked and I was going to do a, another one, but I realized um, I didn't take off work. So I might not be able to do that one. And it's in short notice, like next week when I'm filming this video. So nevertheless um and there's so many people that's reaching out and saying you know they need videography stuff photography stuff so um for me not to actually announce it out on my social medias and stuff like that it's been a blessing so i cannot take none of that for granted and i'm just excited to be able to do that and have all that done so I am going to launch and put everything together on the website so people can book and all that kind of stuff and tell you uh, basically about the packages and things like that. So yeah. Um, I have been planning out the information regarding the launch. I don't want to say it too prematurely. Um, you'll see more of that content in May. Um, especially with the day in the life videos because I'm really going to showcase uh, behind the scenes of what I'm going to launch and it's not a whole new company or nothing like that it's going to be within the KGC communications brand so be on the lookout for that and hopefully it'll be something that helps business owners and all that kind of stuff so I'm excited I am planning that stuff out um, I just have to have find some downtime because you know school has really ramped up in the last couple of times so it's always the sprint in the last couple of weeks that I got to get everything done so I've been really focusing on that then you know catering to business launch stuff but we'll get that done in May because I tentatively the drop date is going to be August so look out for that and I want to use June and July as content um, marketing months specifically so nobody could say oh well you didn't tell us till two weeks no I didn't tell you you got the information so nevertheless that's what's going to happen so look out for that um side eye I am planning out content for May. I just, y'all, I told y'all I was resting in April, so it's kind of like either you do it in April or you do it last minute. So 
I have literally planned out all the content. Have I shot the content? No, but it's planned. So I'm halfway there. I just need to sit down, schedule day and shoot out content. And even though as much as I want that to be today, it will not be. So nevertheless, that's that. Um, personal goals. Now I said I was gonna start working out and cooking. I've been cooking a little bit more um, because I finally went and got groceries. Your girl didn't have no groceries. Um, and that's kind of because when we went out of town to uh, Savannah, I didn't vlog because I just took the time to just have a good time at St. Patrick's Day. Um, was the time I was supposed to buy groceries and I typically buy groceries two weeks. So I buy everything in the two week increment. Was running out then, but I was like, eh, I'm not gonna buy groceries because I know when I get back, it's kind of hectic and life was life in and I wasn't going to the grocery store and I didn't do none of that so that's what had happened but we're gonna get there may 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 gonna be good because I've been cooking all this week mostly um and bringing my lunch and meal planning and y'all know I do not meal plan um so y'all should be great proud of you girl you should be proud give me hand claps for that hands clap for that okay so what <laughs> is the game plan for the second month of quarter two? So what's the game plan for May to help out with the quarter two goals? So one, keep reaching out to potential clients. I actually have um, someone in mind already. I'm very particular who I work with. So uh, we already had a consultation and I just need to make sure she's all uh, on board to start when we thought she was gonna start. So nevertheless, if not, you know cold calling pitching all that kind of stuff i gotta get back into it so that's that i'm going to launch the photography side of kgt communications for may um because i have told i've been playing it and i could be getting some more money and you know spending time somewhere else so um if you're watching this you know who you are and i am telling you i'm going to do it in may and don't ask me again love you though yeah um like i said start cooking more um it's not that i don't like cooking it's just really sitting down time to cook and then sometimes i have evening meetings so um i bought a lot of salad stuff so i feel like i can meal prep that and just eat salads for like two three days because it's not like i eat a lot anymore but yes that's what i'm going to do I want to plan out <laughs> my content for, for, for the business along with the launch in May because by the time I roll around and then school starts, I get like a three week break between school and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm going to be really working during that time. Um, like I said, plan the launch ideas. Oh. I guess I could tell you guys this because I'm quite sure I'm going to make a series about this because this is just awesome. So for one of our organizations, we do sort of a, I mean, I got accepted so I can talk about it. It is what it is. You can't unaccept me. Right? Right. Um, <laughs> back to what I was saying. So in our organization, Rotorac, uh, I just joined in February, which is crazy. Um, and they actually had applications for their red table talk so uh i just got selected to go through their leadership development program on creating my own ted talk or red table talk so that would be in june that i actually give a speech wow right wow and you know it's funny because i be acting like i i don't be on tv about the news and stuff but speeches and news is two totally different things most of the time news is recorded so if i mess up i can go back and redo it speaking in front of public people is different um, but nevertheless i'm excited because i get to like I said, find out performance classes. So we're gonna have a workshop before we actually um, deliver the actual talk. So literally gonna have performance uh, seminars, 
writing and y'all know I love writing and the person who's uh, leading the writing is someone that I met in person and she is amazing with writing so I am so excited and elated to learn from her uh, personal development all that kind of stuff uh, scorched up into May so I'm going to do a mini series on that like a day in a life but I'll show you guys how that kind of works out all that kind of stuff so look out for that I am so excited so that'll be happening in may even though the talks in june they really want us to get um acquainted um also i am <laughs> i know y'all like key you be launching stuff every five seconds so it's actually not a launch but a redirection so you guys know you watch my hustle her way pod vlogs and you guys really enjoy it and for some odd strange reason i was like let's do the audio version so there is going to be a hustle her way podcast featuring kt the publicist that will be coming out in may what yes first week of may you guys can expect actual videos of seeing me talk about various things and then also be in an audio form on wherever you listen to your podcast i am going to insert the clip of the the cover art of what the podcast is going to look like and like i said this is going to be video as well so you guys will see that i it will not be in this form even though i love my little filming setup it'll be a little bit different just because i got some ideas about it so we'll see um so go follow that um we actually have a hustle her way podcast instagram i'll leave it in the description box so <laughs> you'll be able to get that and follow that content so that's another content page that i will be planning for um and i'm excited because if you guys have most of you guys probably don't know but back way 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 back in the day um i actually did a podcast with my then a boyfriend um turned x now of course um so really love the podcast aspect of everything and all that nature so being able to get back into podcasting is something that i'm going to enjoy so be on the lookout for the very first episode which will probably drop the second week of may if i'm not mistaken let's let's look in the calendar and i can tell you so you guys can count down when you're going to get to see it i don't know it might be we might be the third week of may y'all i just thought about it it might be third week so may 3rd um mean i gotta get my life together right <laughs> right but uh that is all the reset routines uh goals for second month and quarter two going into may all that kind of stuff if you guys have any questions leave them down below comment down below and tell me what you're changing up for your reset routine for may goals all that kind of stuff because i want to hear from you because you guys inspire me and hopefully i inspire you guys too also don't forget work besties send this to a fellow work or business bestie so they won't miss a beat when i drop a new video on this channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you won't miss the video and as always i'll see you guys in the next video bye y'all